guys, so I'm going to show you how you can create uh, text using Midjourney. All right. First things first is we're, we're going to create a server. This is where uh, a private server, so it's just your images. So to do that, you scroll down, click Add Server, Create My Own, skip this question, and give it a server name. Okay. Once you do that, you need to, you need to go to the Midjourney page. Okay, and where you see the member list on the right side, you're gonna see uh, Midjourney Bot. Click it and add to server and find your server name and then click continue. Follow the instructions. All right, so now let's get back and create font. How do we do it? Okay, well, the key here, as you can see, is the prompt that I'm using and using reference images so let's break it down okay so let's look at here so the first part is and the key here is use multiple reference images what are reference images what do I mean by reference images is look over here before uh, before I get into mid journey I'm creating I'm thinking what word do I want, want to generate and I create it with different fonts and then I use once I export this as an image, I'm going to use this as a reference photo uh, to help uh, Midjourney know how to spell the word. Okay, so we're back in here, and I used the word power, and so I used, I gave, I linked it. I'm going to show you how to do this. I gave it four links, four images to use as a reference, and they all spell power. And then I just use repetition to really uh, nail down. And I wrote power in just different ways. Power with all capitals, lowercase, with a space. And then I followed through and I said written in. And I wrote, found a specific font here. Okay, and then you can just copy and paste this. I'll include uh, a version of this in my YouTube description. Okay, so how do we create these links to the reference images? So uh, when, when you upload it, you see I click the plus sign upload the files and then you can upload an image you see well, this one is for example destiny the word destiny okay so we have it uploaded okay then you left click the image right click it and say copy link boom and then you paste it okay and I said the key here is multiple reference photos so you click the other photo copy link and spacebar and again, put in the next one. Uh, here's another one, Co copy link. I try to use four, at least four images just to play it safe, okay? And then I already gave you the breakdown of the prompt, right? So we're just gonna write down the word in multiple ways and then written in, and we're gonna write a specific style. It could be, for example, 80 synth synth wave okay and copy and paste the last part of uh, the formula and then what you can do is sometimes uh, you can start to use your own creativity and you can write for example maybe fire in the back ground or you can say a logo for company called power okay or you can just write green or maybe pink red okay it's just your creativity your imagination I gave you the skeleton key the template and then you just do uh, whatever your heart tells you to do okay so let's find some successful examples they're not all going to be successful uh, this is these ones that didn't work out was just me figuring out how to create uh, these words okay so here's one that was successful I got three images that were good here and like I said I added the four reference photos I added power written in different ways and I have it here in 80s synthwave font okay so how can we what are other ways we can make this uh interesting 
So let's scroll through. This is more of that 80s synthwave font. I'm going to scroll through. Here I wrote down different fonts. I said a New York Times font. And I was able to get this image, which is pretty cool. It had buildings in the background. So that gave me the idea, okay, why don't I start playing around with that back background ideas. So for here, I wrote Thunder. And it wasn't really that exciting, but something cool happened. Here I just changed the font again. Here I wrote fire in the back as a description. It's a simple word. Here I wrote down pink. You can see here in the prompt. Here I wrote uh, blue flowers. Okay. So how can we how can we get more creative? What can you do to get more creative? Well, one thing you can do is you can generate uh, some other reference images, for example, a skull, if I want to have a skull in the background. So I generated a skull. And again, to do a reference photo, left click, right click, copy link. Okay. And then I decided to write in the prompt, human skull in the background. And I added that reference photo in with the rest of the prompt uh, power, like the spelling uh, reference images. Okay. If we scroll through, we, we can see we created some cool stuff. We got the skull in the background and we got our word. Another one. And this one turned out pretty cool. Okay, and then you take that same idea and you can create other reference images like generate guns, like faces, cars. And uh, here's one that turned out pretty cool. Power, and we had the car in the background. I just literally wrote car in the background and I added two reference images of cars. Then I started to try and create a face in the background, or like a demon-like figure. So let's find something that was successful. This image wasn't successful, so I'm gonna show you how, to, how you can edit. I'm gonna show you two ways of how you can edit uh, an image, okay? So all I need to do is take this R and change it into a P. I'm going to use a program called Krita for this. But we're going to scroll through and look at other successful examples just to, so we know what's possible. I think this is probably one of the better ones, best ones I've created. So it is possible to generate text, but you just need reference images. All right, so let's see how we can edit, uh, edit uh, f uh, our font when there's a little mistake, OK? Uh, so in this example, I wrote destiny six times and the issue I had here is we got here and it's great we have all the letters but they're out of order so I'm going to show you how you can edit this very easily uh, using Canva okay so let me show you we're gonna go through the both examples of ways to edit an image very simply so what I did is I went to Canva, upload the image, and now I'm going to create, copy and paste multiple versions of the image, and I'm going to isolate the letters by cropping it. So for example, I got the I and the N, let's create little blocks, okay. Then I need the T. Isolate the T. So dest T. And then we need the I and the N. Then you just zoom in and adjust the image. Okay, so this is an easy way just to rearrange. There we go. So, so close to what, what we want to get, okay? 
except you see it's an R instead of a P. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you in a program where we can edit this out. Okay, so the program is called Preta. And you see, I have it open already. And I colored in, I colored in this part of the R and changed it to a P. So how can you do that? Look at my mouse. I go under filter. I click this button. And we have this eyedrop. You click the eyedrop and you select what which part you want to copy to generate that color. So I click in this background. I get this dark brown image. And now you see we are able to color in and create edits. There we go. Now it's looking better. Okay, but same thing here. If I wanted to to remove this, I just color it in, and boom, it starts to turn it into a P. But we want to keep it as an R. All righty, and now we have the word power. I hope this was helpful. Uh, please like and subscribe and comment, and check out the other content that I create. I'm going to finish this video by playing a little clip from this AI video that I generated. It's an Avengers uh, movie trailer as if it was made in the 80s. Uh, and I use voice cloning for it, chat GDP, and um, I created the music myself. And I hope you find it really creative and cool. Okay? So see you guys. In the distant part of the universe, on planet Titan, lives a great evil. I have been searching for the Infinity Stones. Powerful gems that would give me ultimate power over the universe. Thanos, a powerful and ruthless villain who believes he alone possesses the strength and will to save the universe from itself. I will finally bring balance and peace to the universe. When the world is in danger, when it's time to be desperate, it's time for the Avengers. They fight the battles that we never Let's could. Let's kill him properly. Introducing Iron Man, the Hulk, Thor, Black Widow, Captain America, Spider-Man, Ant-Man, Hawkeye, Loki, Doctor Strange, Vision, War Machine, Black Panther, and many more. Prepare for a journey through time and space. We haven't faced an enemy like him before. Where the fate of the universe hangs in the balance. We're dealing with forces beyond our understanding.